हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ डिजिटल डिजाइन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस ऑन पल्स स्ट्रेचर्स एंड पल्स कंप्रेसर्स इफ यू वांट टू गो थ्रू अवर पार्ट वन आई विल गिव इट्स लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन एज वेल एज इन द आई बार सेक्शन यू कैन गो थ्रू इट एंड दिस अ शॉर्ट वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू ओनली अ सिंगल चैलेंज एंड इट विल बी रिलेटेड टू पल्स डबल लॉजिक एंड नाउ दाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम Let us get started and see the challenge first, and in the same video, I am going to reveal the solution as well. Friends, the challenge is on your screen, where you have to design a pulse width stretcher to double the width of the input pulse, as shown below. Here, you have to design this pulse stretcher. It has two inputs: pulse input and clock. Pulse input is one bit long. It has one output: pulse output. it is also one bit long only on this pulse input there will appear the pulses of any number of clock cycles and corresponding to that pulse this pulse stretcher will generate a pulse at the pulse output signal and the width of the pulse at the pulse output signal should be double the pulse appearing at the pulse input signal let me show you with the help of the diagrams this is the clock input This is the pulse input. So the first pulse appears, and its width is two clock cycles. And corresponding to this pulse, this pulse stretcher will generate a pulse at the pulse output signal, which should have a width of four clock cycles. So this is the output, expected output. And then again, one pulse appears at the pulse input, which is of one clock cycle only. So as per our pulse stretcher logic. the pulse stretcher logic will generate a pulse of two clock cycles and a pulse output so this is our expected output now you have to design this pulse stretcher digital design logic and with this you can pause my video here try to think of its answer if something comes to your mind please write it down in the comment section so that we can start a discussion there friends now i am going to reveal the design of a pulse with stretcher which has a capability to double the width of the input pulse so the solution is on your screen this is a pulse input here i have put an or gate if pulse input is high then i am applying that pulse input directly to the flip flop because if the input pulse is high irrespective of the other input this input pulse will reach at the input of this flip flop and so we will get pulse output as high that is the expectation as per our waveform at the same time this input pulse is applied to this up down counter so this pulse when it is high then this counter will count in the upward direction let us say i got a pulse for 5 cycles then this counter will go up 0 1 2 3 4 5 like that and when this input pulse will go 0 it will start counting downward and it will count till zero at zero it will stop and this counter is designed in a specific way that it should not roll back it should stop at zero at count zero and friend this count is applied to this comparator other input is zero only whenever count is greater than zero we will get one at its output output of this comparator will go high and its output is applied to one of the input of this or gate and when this value is high irrespective of the pulse input it will reach at the input of d flip flop and finally it will be passed to pulse output now let us see how will achieve the desired functionality with the help of this logic diagram let us see this logic diagram and the waveforms together so when the pulse first pulse appears at the pulse input let us see how this logic design behave so this will be directly applied to this or gate and irrespective of the other input this will reach at the input of d flip flop and we will get the pulse output that means our pulse is first pulse is two cycles so two cycles definitely will get at pulse output so first two cycles are because of this pulse input now pulse input is applied to counter also so this counter will start counting in the upward direction so it will count 1 and 2 because it is going to receive two pulses so count will become 2 now this 2 is greater than 0 so we will get comparator output as 
So as soon as this pulse input goes zero here, counter is still at value two. So two is greater than zero. So competitor is giving output as one. So this one is reaching to the input of D flip flop and finally reaching at the pulse output. But because pulse input goes zero, this counter will start counting in the downward direction. Two, one, zero, and it will stop at zero. So for two clock cycles, this competitor is going to give its output as one till count goes zero. So this one will appear at the input of D flip flop and finally it reaches the pulse output. So we will get pulse output high for two cycles because of this path uh, up down counter and competitor. And this is how we achieve the desired functionality. Friends, here I explain the pulse doubler logic, and I hope that I am able to clarify this logic design with the help of the waveforms. Friends, if you want to know the optimized RTL for this pulse doubler, I will give its link in the description section as well as in the I bar section. You can go through it, and I hope that this will be quite informative for all of you. If you also like this video. Please press the like button and you can share your feedback in the comment section. And in future also we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and your time.